It's Ramos again. Hey, you bullying somebody else today? Uh, yeah, I saw it just a minute ago, buddy. Yeah, quit bullying people. Yeah, quit bullying people. We ain't leaving. Get your camera out, man. Come on, get your camera out. Get your cameras out, guys. Come on, guys. Let them know we ain't putting up with their crap no more. We're going to film you. We're going to film you. Yeah, they got him. He's live though. That's why I'm here. Yeah. I saw him live. I came over here because I saw them bullying him. Bunch of stupid idiots. Yeah, you. Bunch of stupid idiots. You can't do this anymore. You can't do that anymore. You can't, you can't bully people anymore. You can't do that. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 shake your head. No, no, no. This is how it's gonna be from now on. We're tired of it. We're fed up. He's trespassing you? Trespassing? He's trespassing you? No, he, he told me. He had the audacity to tell me that if I came back, he'll put me in jail. That dumb motherfucker. You can't do that. That's a violation of his right to film you. That's a violation of his First Amendment right to film you. Hey guys, it's Las Vegas Metropolitan Police again. Yeah, your false car, huh? It's it's Las Vegas Metropolitan Police again. If you want to get on the phone, they're trying to get violent with Bow. I saw him live. Hey guys, guys, get your cameras out if you got cameras, please. Please, we need as many cameras as we can on them. There's more of us than there is them. If you solicit a trespass, you're going to be in big trouble, buddy. We're customers here. We are paying customers with receipts. And you're trying to violate our right to film you. Now they're trying to go solicit a trespass. Guys, this Las Vegas Metro Metropolitan Police Department. These are the same guys that keep messing up over and over and over again. These, are, these guys are the reason. We've got activists coming in from all over the country. You got people from Chicago out here, Arizona, California. Come on over here, bud. The whole country converging on Las Vegas Metropolitan Police because they won't stay under control. Hey, come on over here. What are you doing? It's not taped off. Stay away from me. I can't hear you. He was? It's an open public sidewalk. Cut it out. That's enough. What's your name? What's your name? Dinez? E-N-E-Z? What's your badge number, Inez? Okay, here's the problem. It's a public sidewalk. It's wide open. We're not trying to interrupt anything that you're doing. Look, here's the thing. We had the right to film you guys out here, okay? And and this is not a taped off crime scene. No, 
And so you don't have the right to tell him he can't walk up and down here it's, filming you. You're getting into our investigation. No, he's not. We're our conversations. And it That's legal. For them. No, 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 no. I don't. For the suspect, we have in custody. Okay. Our conversations need to be private. Okay. Can I explain? That's it. Can I explain something to you? you? You get a turn to talk, and then I get a turn to talk. Okay. Is that fair? But I'm, done. I'm not talking with you. We're okay. not dealing with you. We have the right to hear your private conversation if it is in not public. Not about him. If it is in public. Not about him. And you are in public. No, no, yes. No, if you no, want to. That's why we need to keep a space for his. No, Privacy. you get 10 feet. Privacy. That's what the Supreme Court ruled, which is enough oh, room for us to hear. We, we need, need to hear. No. We need to hear your conversation. I appreciate what you're doing. I really do. No, you don't, yes, because I if do. you did, then you would just let me do it. You see, what you, do. you see, I'm not going to harm you. That's fine. We understand. And that. I need to get the dialogue. No, I need to know what you're saying and doing. That's his privacy. I understand there's a victim involved. That's it. When you guys are here, there's usually people being victimized by you. I get that. Like I said, you can stay on the sidewalk and go that way if you like, but then you have to be done with it. No, 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 that's not. Look, look, we're trying to train you. You're making it very difficult. You don't train us. Yeah, we train you. You work for us. I understand that. You work for us. We're in charge of you. And I work for myself too, right? No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, when you're in that in that uniform, you're a servant of us. Right. Now that's 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 a humble to position to be in. And I'm a servant to myself. Really? Technically to yourself. So you you are serving yourself, aren't you? Right now you're serving yourself and nobody else. I'm serving me. I'm serving everybody in this whole community. Right now you're serving nobody but yourself. When you're trying to to make it so that First Amendment auditors can't because you guys. If I wasn't for you guys, I'd have left already. Go find. Then leave. Then no. leave. But make sure my investigation or their investigation continues in a safe manner. That's what we There's do. nothing unsafe about a camera, and we need yes. to the pick up the dialogue. Conversations, no. No. It's public it's record, right. anyway. His rights. You understand? Rights all do you you understand that you're going to write a report on what every person said here, including the victims? That's going to be public record. I can go and get the public record. Exactly. What's yeah. the difference between me filming it and going and getting the public record and posting on the internet? You're pretending that things are private that are not private. Right. Well, we understand if they're, they're not. They're not. They're all being video camera, camera by all of us. You and right, us. Right, right. And you're trying public to public pretend that it's private and that I shouldn't be able to hear it. That's not true. There are certain, things, not that, true. There are certain yeah. things you cannot get yeah. when you yeah. take our reports. When you get our reports, there are certain things on our reports that you cannot have. Right? I know you try to redact a lot of stuff. Right. I get that. And we still fight through it and right. it, we, it's like pulling teeth and, and until, until that's, that's why we have to record that's when you get it that's why we have to record because it's like pulling teeth trying to get records eventually we get them record our conversation is because some of that stuff is private for the individual <clears throat> that's not why it is it's usually because you guys did something wrong usually when we have problems getting information it's not because hey, there's a victim it's not because there's a victim no you don't if you did you would you would actually act like it you would say hey you know what be close enough to hear the dialogue I heard, I'm a, I know because I, but I saw at the very beginning how you, but he was live, so I saw, right, but he was live, so I saw from the beginning you guys approached him aggressively. You gotta understand, we've been approached by people like you multiple times where we act nice. I've been arrested four times acting nice. I've never been arrested saying fuck you to a cop. Because once you guys get aggressive and aggressively approach me, and I, thank you, sir. Don't put up with the nonsense. All these morons. Shut the hell up, you fucking you know? piece of shit. Hey, you see? Nice. So yeah, I know right. it's not you nice, but I can say it, right? Uh, uh, hey, I can say let it. Let me tell you, you guys do a hell. I live in respectful. California. Yes, sir. It doesn't you matter if it's respectful. Doing a great job. Hey, if it wasn't for you guys, these hey. suckers wouldn't even be around. You want to get down on your knees and lick his boot? I appreciate you want to get down on your knees and lick his boot? I'm a veteran. I actually did something for the country. Hold on, I'm sorry. We'll wait until all the. I'm a veteran. I did something for the country. What for the politics, the military for the, were you in? For the politicians? That's what I thought. You know what we call people like you? Parasites. You're living off of what we did. Oh, yeah? That's a parasite. He's living. What you did for the yeah, politicians, right. you That's fucking coward ass piece of shit. So did he. So did he. So did I. I was in Iraq soaking up the money from the contractors. Oh, yeah. I sucked up the money. Come on, buddy. I got the tax dollars, too. We were parasites when we were sucking away the tax dollars. Now I'm in the private sector. So anyways, when you guys approached him aggressively, when we're nice, we go away in handcuffs. We're when we're not, we, we don't. Because I we understand this uniform can intimidate people, and it's understandable sometimes, but we're just trying to tell him what we wanted him from him to do, okay? We didn't want him to walk back and forth to get into our private conversations, but, it, but he just started cussing at us, so we're like, okay, either back up, and we started walking, okay, you go that way too. So he went this way, and we're like, just stay over there now, you can't come back, because you've gone back and forth several times, so we just want to stop that now, okay? And the reason he yelled at you is because you don't have a right to tell him he can't do that. 
because you don't have a right to tell him he can't do that. And that's why he yelled at you, because you guys don't seem to understand and the only no, language you under... He was calling us that stuff before we even started. Okay, I'll go back and review it, but it seems to me that when we talk nice to you guys, you don't understand. The only language you seem to understand is cussing and yelling and derogatory language. That's the only thing that ever gets well, through. We do deal with a lot I've with been that. doing it for a long time. And, and the only thing that, that ever gets through to you guys is me being you know aggressive, aggressively you speaking to you. Where I can, it can't be in public. So, I mean, if you guys can... Yeah, I'm scared. You guys are scary. No, you guys are scary. You are, you are really scary. You guys are walking around. Look at all the tools on your belt. All I have is a camera phone. And you guys got, what, tasers, mace, guns. Extra magazines. Hey, James, how you doing, man? What's up? Yeah, he knows who the fuck I am. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Stop out. You good? You be right here? Yeah, and I'm going to go back and forth as many times as I want. Okay, well, we'll talk to our supervisor about that. And if he agrees to you doing that, we'll let you do that. Look, it's not your choice. You guys have to abide by the law. You don't get to make the rules. We get a <laughs> if you got to make the rules, it would be a dictatorship. You understand that? Because there's no checks and balances then. There's and no checks and balances. I like your checks and balances. I'm good with that. Well, I'm, I'm your check. Right. So but, go get in balance. But I'll see you later. What? Good luck to you, sir. He threatened. He threatened to put me in jail, Sergeant. He threatened to put me in jail, Sergeant. You train your dog, Sergeant. If you're gonna tape it off, then tape it off, and we'll stay outside the tape. Whoa, whoa, hey, back off! I'll go over there. I'll go over there. I'll go over there. Back off. What's your name? What is that name? What is diarrhea? Yes, sir. Diarrhea? Dis dysphoria? What is your name? What is your name? Officer Diarrhea. Officer Diarrhea. We appreciate we appreciate you being here. If you appreciated us being here, you wouldn't be trying to push us out of here. What's up, man? Okay, what about the uh, whole parking lot? Because if you're gonna tape off a scene, it's got to be an entire perimeter. No, okay, listen, listen. Okay, can I <laughs> if we got a bunch of police cars right there, we're doing an investigation on this car. Okay, we don't know what's in this car right now. Okay, that, that's, that's what we're doing, okay? That's I think you're stretching, but if you tape it off, then I'll stay outside of the tape. And I appreciate that, sir. Thank you very much. I think you're stretching, though. Well, I'm not, sir. You're, you're using the rules to stretch it, though, so. You're doing it within the within the law, so. So they're doing an investigation on that car. So they're going to tape off the area. So I'm just going to wipe my shoes off. I got gum or something on them. Did, uh, I bet that guy will come back and lick it off for you. That uh, boot licker. Where did he go? I bet he'll come back and lick off the gum for you. No? You don't think so? <laughs> right away, Sergeant, he got here and he escalated the situation right away. He didn't do shit to help the investigation. Hey, the uh, sidewalk is still open. As soon as he got here, he escalated the situation. I sat there and didn't say a fucking thing. Sidewalk is still open. He's an escalator. He needs a psyche valve, Sarge. He's probably been drinking all morning. How much you want to bet if we try to walk down this sidewalk, they'll say that we're crossing the tape line, which we are clearly not going to cross. You look feet red and unstable. Guys, if there's anybody in the area, we could use some more cameras out here. If you're watching and you've never come out with a camera, we could use some more cameras out here. So everybody without cameras is allowed to stand right next to the cops, and everybody with cameras is uh, is banned from is banned from the scene. So 
You know, it has nothing to do with taping off and preserving a crime scene, obviously. The tape doesn't go all the way. It has to do with keeping cameras outside of the tape. Dude, the tape just stopped. It doesn't go all the way around. It doesn't go all the way around because the cameras are over here. The bootlickers are over there. Bootlickers are allowed in. Cameras are not. Let's go get the name of the street down here. We're going to get you guys the intersection. We're going to the intersection. Get the street name. It's a... Uh, See, it's taped off here, but they're trying to tell us we can't be on the sidewalk either. So guys, uh, the Circle K also told us that we can't be filming over here. So I don't know uh, I don't know if anybody has anything to, to, to say to them about that, but that's 6490. Um, that's the corner of Boulder and Russell. It's the corner of Boulder and Russell in Las Vegas, Nevada. Dude, right, uh, right here. This dude was really pretty cool yesterday. Very cool, actually. Very cool. You got uh, Ramos, who was here when I first came up on the on the scene here, that was trying to tell us, hey, you can't be near here, yesterday when we were filming. And uh, this guy was just cool with us. Piggy booties, y'all. He, he's the sergeant, too, by the way, so. He called his dog off for us. Latex. Latex. I don't know, man. I just, I showed, I just showed up. I just showed up. I just showed up, bro. And uh, all these little piggies were running around being wild, little piggies. You know, I had to tell them, look here, piggies. Stop running around wild, piggies. You don't know the law, piggies. Look here, piggies! He's telling the story right now. He's telling the story. Yeah. Oh, she I'm wants to know too. What happened? She oh, oh, oh. So, so I was so walking up. Yeah, I was walking up, and all these piggies were running rampant. They're talking about oink, 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 oink. Did they find the body? Oink, oink, oink. And I was like, get away from me, piggy. Nasty little piggy. Don't try to touch my butt, little piggy. That's what she just walked away. She asked what happened. And that one's got latex gloves on, ma'am. The end. <laughs> Yeah, orange ones too. <laughs> oh, a bunch of nasty little piggies running around being sovereign citizens. <laughs> That's what happened. Dude, everybody keeps screaming, what happened? What happened? That fat I, one's a sovereign citizen. I love letting Bao tell everybody what happened. What happened? I don't know. You're going to have to ask Bao. You don't have to stand there silent and be passive aggressive like a little bitch. <laughs> Say something back. <laughs> you know, come on, man. There you go. Smile. There you go. Stop being a dirty, nasty little piggy. Smile. Smile for once, big dog. Hey, guys, head over to Clash with Bow live streams if you want to stay here. And stop wearing your latex gloves at the ready. That's Are you live? Oh, creepy motherfucker. Head over, I lied. Head over to Las Vegas Auditor. She's live. Head over there if you guys want to stay here and hang out. Las Vegas Auditor or Bow? No, Las Vegas Auditor. <laughs> Bow, Bow's old. She, she needs new subs. She needs new subs and she's going to be out here permanently. She, she stays out here. So she'll be out here watching piggies regularly. I love the mouth on Bow, says April May. I do too. It's funny as hell to me. Uh, here, let me zoom in on the boot liquor and say bye to her. 